Hey, what is up everybody? This is Derek from Game of Skins and welcome to my channel. So I'll be talking about stock investing, personal finance, money saving tips, so let's dive in. So in this episode, I'll be talking about this company called Guardian Capital Corp. So what is Guardian Capital? Guardian Capital is listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. It is a company that is about less than a billion dollars, so it's about $925 million market cap. It has, its business is, is in wealth management, uh, well, as well as uh, high wealth in investing. And it has $46 billion under management. Much of its business is with pension funds, institutional investors, uh, banks, and high wealth clients. So what do we know about Guardian Capital? Well, it was founded in 1962. In 1981, a very important person named John Christos de Roo, uh, joined the company. And in 1987, he became the CEO and he instituted uh, the change and shift of this company. Uh, he brought it back to life and it's become this small little powerhouse that we know today. So one major event that's listed in its history was that it sold its mutual fund business in 2001 to the Bank of Montreal. And it sold it not for cash, it sold the company in exchange for 5 million Bank of Montreal shares. And this is such a huge amount. So Guardian Capital has done quite a bit in terms of expansion and also acquisitions in terms of its businesses in ETFs or exchange traded funds. Uh, wealth management and wealth advisory. So who co who controls Guardian Capital? Well, on the proxy statement, there is a list of two huge shareholders. So the first is a company called Minic Investments, and it is controlled by a trust that was set up by John Christos de Lou. Uh, he has passed away, but so but the beneficiaries of this trust is to his children, and this company owns about almost fifty percent, so forty nine percent. And the next shareholder is a person named Rosemary Short. Rosemary Short owns about 20% of Guardian Capital. She is the wife of the late founder, co-founder of Guardian Capital, Norman Short. So Norman used to be the CEO. And after he was take, he was succeeded by John Christos de Lou. So I'd like to do this quick and dirty financial snapshot of Guardian Capital. Um, it's very simple. It, gives me a quick analysis of how well this company is doing. And the first is uh, debt to equity ratio. Debt to equity ratio right now is 0 0.6. Um, as long as you see a company that's below one, that means it is, has a very, very healthy balance sheet. So for Guardian Capital, 0 0.6 is very, very healthy for this company. The other ratio that I look at is the retained earnings power ratio. I came up with this ratio um, as a way for me to, to uh, analyze how this company's um, way of using its own retained earnings to build more earning power. And how we can calculate that is the free cash flow um, divided by the retained earnings. Um, this way, it gives me understanding that how well, whatever they're er uh, retaining in terms of their earnings is a function of how much cash they're generating. So when you, well, you cannot avoid um, skewing the numbers for cash because cash is cash. Either you have it or you don't. You can't really um, smudge around with, with, with regards to the cash. So in terms of the ratio for the retained earnings power ratio, it is 9%. 9% is you know a very healthy number. It's not like gangbusters like, like Apple, but it's a very steady as long as it's above, um, as long as it is in a positive territory. Um, in terms of wealth management, this is a very steady sort of growth. So what makes Guardian Capital such a fantastic company? There's this hidden part of it that a lot of people miss out and you don't, re you don't really take a, a further glance into. It is with regards to its huge war chest. It's war chest of securities. So stocks, um, short-term short investments, uh, uh, fixed investments, sort of like that. But in 2001, um, like I mentioned before, it sold its mutual fund business um, to the Bank of Montreal uh, for 5 million Bank of Montreal shares. Um, as of now, uh, in terms of the group of its insecurities that it has under its balance sheet, it has about $632 million uh, market value in terms of its securities. One third of that is the Bank of Montreal shares. Um, 
over the years, they have slowly whittled down uh, the Bank of Montreal shares from five million to about 2.3 million shares. And in terms of that 2.3 million shares, it's worth about 222 million dollars. So it's a huge amount of shares still, um, very concentrated in terms of its stock portfolio, but it, it, they seem to be diversifying that in terms of um, uh, selling a bit of the Bank of Montreal shares towards that diversification. So have you read this book by Joel Greenblatt, this big hedge fund uh, investor? Um, he wrote this book. He's, he's a professor at Columbia U University, um, and he's a big value investor. Uh, where he wrote, this, the book title is called The Big Secret for a Small Investor. I just wanted to tell you that Guardian Capital is the small investor's dream investment. Um, first of all, it has a very low uh, price to earnings ratio. Price to earnings ratio is sort of like a proxy in terms of how cheap it is. Um, so it's hovering about 4, uh, 4.5 right now, which is fantastic. It shows you it's quite, quite cheap. Um, the other thing is that um, the shares are traded on a very low volume per day, about a few hundred shares per day. So you don't, you don't have big institutions being able to compete with you as a small investor for this fantastic Rolex of a company. Um, it also has large shareholders uh, with skin in the game. You have Minic Investments and you have Rosemary Short who own about more than 60% uh, of this company. Um, so you can bet that they have the long-term game in mind to make sure that this company does well and has its future in place, especially for um, the beneficiaries involved. Just also, there is a growing steady business of wealth management. Wealth management is, uh, they made projections that, um, that wealth management is always going to keep growing. There's lots of people who need wealth management in a way, institutions, um, high wealth clients in a way. Another thing that's fantastic about Guardian Capital is its low debt, as explained before, in terms of its low debt to equity ratio. And that way it is quite stable in terms of ballast if financial turmoil comes around. So your investment is protected. And the other thing that adds ballast is the huge war chest of securities, as I mentioned before. Um, it's a huge um, block of Bank of Montreal shares. Um, it is slowly uh, whittling it down to diversify, but it's still quite a huge amount that provides the balance sheet uh, of protection. And lastly, uh, for the long-term patient investor, this is the company to own as long as you don't trade, um, as long as you stick to it, you buy it, you hold it, you hold it for a very, very long time. I can see that Guardian Capital is going to do quite well. Um, you also have, as I said before, uh, an investor, uh, other investors which are large that have skin in the game. So you yourself, you know, you can act like it as if they're your partner uh, that knows that you are, that have your shareholder interest in mind. So that's it guys. So drop a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out everybody. Goodbye.